Good evening and thank you for joining us for KAG's News at 6. I'm William Johnson. Today, the College Board announced the SAT exam will eventually be moving to a digital format for students. This exam is what many colleges look at when it comes to admission. We spoke with a tutoring service in College Station that says although this is news to them, they hope this won't be a setback for students. For Rob Jensen, he's been serving students taking standardized tests for college for the past eight years, saying that it all comes down to the details. There's a lot of factors that kind of go into uh, developing a plan, a schedule, um, and helping to kind of you know create something that would ideally fit and suit that student's needs. In the past year, he says he's helped more than 100 high school students across the Brazos Valley better themselves before the big SAT exam. But with the College Board making the decision to make the SAT digital, he says this could create changes to the way students go about the test, including the process of elimination for problems. You know, when you have that, I mean, it's not as, as easily accessible to kind of mark up and diagram certain figures or passages that may necessarily be there. Uh, and, and so that that changes the process for which a student may have to approach the test. But after many students had to transition to virtual learning with technology readily available, Jensen feels this set of students will be able to adapt. So I imagine there'll be some like, you know, adjustments and, and, and you know, a bit of a transition that they kind of go through. But I, I don't know for this set of students if it would actually be you know, that large of a gap for them already. The education consultant says he is currently teaching several college prep courses lasting 14 sessions and hopes that students will be able to eliminate any fears they may have and get to work on solving the problems in sight. So this can be something for which uh, can help to maybe alleviate some of the concerns, some of the fears that they may have, um, you know, make it uh, less tedious and, and stressful to them. Mitigating stress for students and preparing them for their futures. And Jensen says the transition to a digital format will take effect for U.S. students in 2024. And moving to digital means scores can be released days after the test, not weeks. And the new version will be cut down to two hours with more time given between questions.